Hello, I'm at Super Judge, and today is the last day of the month of May. Praise God. Now, listen, we are going to be having our 24 hour prayer and fasting that begins tonight at 12 midnight. And we're gonna we're gonna be praying throughout the, the throughout the first. And, and when I say throughout the first, we pray according to the watches. So the first watch is by 12 midnight tonight, today, this is the first, not tomorrow, today, 12 midnight. And then the next watch is going to be at 3 a.m. Then after 3 a.m., we have the next watch at 6 a.m. And then 9 a.m. and 12 noon, 3 p.m., 6 p.m. And the last watch for that day, which is the 1st of June, is at 9 p.m on the 1st of June. You don't want to miss this. Praise God. I, I sense in my heart, the Spirit of God has a lot. And, and the month of June, there's going to be, there's going to be a, a measure of the supply of the Spirit that causes us to be witnesses. That's what I hear the Lord say. The month of June is going to be a month that he will supply. There's going to be the supply of a measure of the Spirit. Now, when I say the measure of the Spirit, I'm talking about the kind of manifestation, how, how the Spirit is going to be showing up in our lives. So there's going to be this supply of the Spirit that causes us to be witnesses. To be witnesses. Now, that's why I'm sharing what I'm sharing with you now. But then on the first, while we pray, and I'm going to share deeper um, these things with you, praise God, during those meetings. Can we call for that daily bread? Say this with me. Say, Father, and mean it. Open your mouth and say, don't just think it. Don't just say, oh, pastor is praying. No, I am not praying for you. I'm saying, let's pray together. So as I pray, you open your mouth and pray. I told you yesterday about how the angels walk. So are you ready? Open your mouth and say, Father, I demand today my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. See, because you believe all things are possible to him that believes. And I prophesy to you, every bill will be paid before the end of this day. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because the Spirit of God is answer, answering the request that you have just made. God bless you. Praise God. So now we were talking about, I was sharing yesterday. Yesterday I was sharing something with you from Ephesians chapter 1. And we, 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 we went to verse 19. And 18 into 19 says, The eyes of your eyes, the eyes of your heart, will be enlightened so that you will come to understand the workings of the power of the Holy Spirit. Because I showed you yesterday, that power comes when the Holy Ghost comes. It is when the Holy Ghost comes. Now, when the Holy Ghost comes, Jesus said you will receive power. Now, many have taught that power just to help us speak in tongues. So you receive the Holy Ghost and you prayed in tongues for two hours, three hours without stopping. And everybody goes, wow. Yeah. But that's not all. <laughs> it's good. Oh, since the day I received the Holy Ghost, I received a new prayer language. It turned my whole prayer life to something else. Yes. But do you know what you are doing? Each time you pray in the Holy Ghost, do you know you are generating power? And you now, listen to me. The power you generate when you pray in the Holy Ghost is limitless. It has no limits. Yeah. There is no 
capped voltage for that power. <laughs> That's why he's telling you here in Ephesians that you, oh, that you will come to understand the greatness of this power that is already in you. When God directed the power of the Holy Ghost to you, when God released the Holy Spirit to you, do you know what was on God's mind? That was the day he answered all your prayers. That was the day God gave you everything. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. That's why you live the way you live. You don't know. That's why you cry. You don't know. You just don't know. No, 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 no. You may have been going to church for the past 20 years involved. You may even be a pastor, but you still don't know. You have, you have prayed in tongues for hours, but you still don't know. You may have healed the sick. You may have ministered in power. You may have prophesied to people and see things happen. But you still don't know the greatness of this power that you're carrying inside you. It's a dynamo, meaning it can, it can be, it can change to whatever you need it for. <laughs> If, if you can speak in other tongues, let me hear me. If you can speak in other tongues, honestly, if you can speak in other tongues, it means you have already begun to generate that power. Now, listen. It is not how much power you generate that can create great things. The power is the power. It is in you. Sometimes people think, oh, I need to pray for three hours, 10 hours to generate so much power. I've told you this before. It is not how long you pray that matters. Now, praying for long is good exercise. It's good exercise. And I'll encourage you to always stretch yourself in the place of prayer. At least pray and tell yourself, look, when the need comes, I can pray this long. Stretch yourself. It's good exercise. But you see, it is not good that God is watching the time and say, you, if you don't pray for five hours, I will not listen to you. No, God is not going to do that. Praise God. He is not going to do that. You know why? You see, as long as the power of the Holy Ghost is in you. Now, that's, this is the reason sometimes people don't understand. You know, one man is called a man of prayer. He prays and prays and prays. But you see, the manifestation of his life. I'm going to explain that to you. The manifestation of God in his life is little compared to someone who would just say, Father, thank you, Jesus. I bless you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And then he gets up and then he begins to do great things. His testimony are awesome. See that? Now, so that's to tell you, it is not, you can pray for 10 hours yet, you don't believe. You know, I was explaining that to you one time. Like you, you, you it's like you have, you have a 100 kVA generator, <laughs> see, or 1,000 kVA generator, and you put that whole generator on just to charge your phone. <sighs> it's going to charge your phone quite all right, see? It will charge your phone quite all right, but guess what you just done? You wasted a whole... Now, now, now I understand, like, look, I have to charge my phone because and there's no 
electricity power from the authority. So let me put on my generator and charge my phone. Yes, I understand that. But now I'm talking about the foolishness of someone who puts on his 1000 kBA generator and he he's charging his phone. Put on the AC. No, 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 don't put on the AC. I, I don't want uh, the power to waste. No, oh, no, no. Now you see, he is actually wasting the power because he didn't know. So the moment you can speak in other tongues, you have already, you have been given the key. And the moment you start the key, the power is operational. Question, what use will that power be to you? The power was not given to us to control other people. I want you to understand this. The power was not given to us to control other people. The power was given to us to demonstrate and become witnesses to the Lord. Because sometimes we pray wrong prayers and we think we're praying right, but then we finish praying, we don't even know what to do. See that now? Now, sometimes, for example, you're praying for favor. Maybe you're applying for a job and you're praying for favor. Now, guess what a lot of people think? Father, as I appear in that place, touch their heart, touch their heart, oh Lord, give me favor before they are signed. Give me favor before they are signed. But they say, you are the one that carried the power. So what would happen when you pray that prayer and, and you're praying it right? What will happen? What will happen is that power will begin to walk in you preparing your mind, preparing your heart, preparing your thoughts for favor. As for favor, that person you're referring to, he actually has, has, he actually has the ability to give you what you want because he could give it or he could have given it to any other person. But now you want it. So because you want it, you go before the Lord and you generate that power you don't think in your heart, let the power go and walk on that person and make that person do what I want. No, let the power walk in me so that when I appear, I will appear favorable. See that now? So when I'm praying, I'm thinking more of the instruction the Lord is going to give me. I'm thinking, because you're going for an interview and your Father, grant me favor in the outside. Oh God, grant me favor. And then you just get up and just, oh, I'm late. And then you just carry your teeth. You don't even comb your hair and you rush there and say, oh, well, I prayed for favor, so I don't mind all these things. No, why are you praying, Father? I had the man for favor today as I go for this interview. Lord, for this proposal, I ask for favor. And why are you praying and praying? So Suddenly, you, you hear the Holy Ghost tell you, put on your red dress and your black shoe. Ah, Lord, ah, that dress, he said, put it on. Now, if you are not knowledgeable in these things, you will look at the dress, I don't like this red dress. No, no, no. Um, Lord, forgive me. And then let me wear the one I, I would like to wear. And then you you wear it and go, nothing happens. And then, but oh Lord, I ask for favor. But in your mind, is, I wear what I want. After all, I've asked God for favor. He will give me favor. No. He, see, the power that was directed to you, the power that was working in you, was, was trying to do its work. Now, one of the work of that power is to instruct you. It's to instruct you. So you're praying, oh God, grant me favor, grant me favor. He said, put on that red dress and your black shoe. Oh, okay, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You bring out the red dress and the shoe and he said, this is what I'm wearing for this interview today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm wearing this because the Lord has commanded me to wear. And then you put it on and then you appear there and, and, and someone is just looking at the dress and it's like, ah, this is the dress. Wow, this person looks like my wife. This person looks like my sister. Wow, this is just, I remember, I have, I have my wife, I bought something like this. And suddenly you're likable. It's like, oh, how are you doing? Fine. Oh, do you shop at such and so place? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. You know, and then before you know what's going on, the deal is done. And then you come and say, wow, thank you, Lord. See, the power was working in you. See that now? It says that you will know 
how powerful. Because many times, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus, if my time is up, <sighs> we're going to continue tomorrow. Praise God. Father, thank you. Even today, by that power working in you, the gates of favor you will see and you will enjoy in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will be instructed right and you will find in your heart the ability to obey every instruction he gives to you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hey, remember, I'll see you tonight at 12 midnight. The Zoom link, the Zoom address, is the, the username and passcode is on your screen. Take it down and set your alarm for 12 tonight. God bless you. Bye.